So again, I'm going to twirl it down, twist it down, stick my finger in it and just wrap my finger around it. So just creating little tiny buns all over the hair. So you just continue doing this all the way around, smoothing the hair as you go, wrapping it up. You could also do this on totally wet hair that's been lightly towel dried and then sleep on it overnight. Usually the bobby pins and the buns are done close enough to the head where you don't have to worry about it being too painful. Just a little annoying. And then these sections I did pretty small. The ones on the top I'm going to actually do a little bit larger. And then if there's anything that you want left out so that it's not curly, leave that out. I'm actually going to leave this whole bang in this little side piece here. You want to drop down your next section. And then remember, this is the top of the hair. So this is what you're going to see. So this is the most important part. One thing that I definitely like to keep in mind is I don't want to see any part lines. Had some pretty severe part lines underneath, but we're not going to have the same thing here. What we're going to do is we're going to start from the very top of the head and we're almost going to take pie sections, so pie shape sections. And what that's going to do is it starts with this little point and goes out, so all this hair is going to cover any, any parts that we might have. So again, I'm going to leave the, the bangs out, start my first section. You can see it's that pie section. And like I said, these are going to be much larger sections, so I'm just going to take this one spin it. Something to keep in mind when you're doing this is the direction that you're twisting the hair. If you want to go for a softer, wavier look, I would suggest making the hair all go in the same direction. And I always like to, when I'm doing that, keep it organized. So I like to go on this side of the face, I'll spin it away from the face, and on the other side, the same thing. If you have less layering in your hair, you could probably get away with doing just six little pins. Again, the bigger the sections are, the bigger the curls are going to be. And that's what it should look like at this stage. Like I said, you would just let it continue to dry. If you do the technique like I did where you just are re-moistening the hair before you twist it, it should take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes to dry. So what you're gonna do to finish is what I do is I just put my thumb right in the center of the bun and I just remove the bobby pin. That's it. And I would start on the bottom row the same exact way that you started. Remove all the bottom ones and then come to the top layer. Or if you had just done just bottom rows, just remove everything at once. But that's just a really cute, easy way to style your hair using no heat.